Hello dear students, our today's topic is a very important antibacterial agent methoxazole. The therapeutic category is antibacterial. And this drug is found to be effective against both the gram positive and gram negative bacteria. This drug is used for treatment of urinary tract infection, bronchitis and prostatitis. The UTI is the inflammation of the urinary tract. Bronchitis is inflammation of the bronchioles and prostatitis is inflammation of the prostate glands. So in all these disease condition, the sulfamethoxazole find its use. Move on to the mechanism of action of this compound. It is a very familiar mechanism of action. The sulfamethoxazole act as competitive inhibitor of PABA. The PABA is para-aminobenzoic acid. And the PABA is responsible for conversion of pteridine diphosphate to dihydroteroic acid. This conversion takes place in presence of the enzyme dihydroteroyl synthetase. And when the dihydropteroic acid is synthesized, it is further utilized in formation of the bacterial DNA. Thus, by inhibition of PABA, this step is inhibited, that is conversion of pteridine diphosphate to dihydropteroic acid and ultimately the bacterial DNA synthesis is gets inhibited and as the DNA synthesis is inhibited the bacterial growth is also inhibited and as the sulfamethoxazole inhibit the bacterial growth it is considered as bacteriostatic in nature let's move on to synthesis of this compound The synthesis of sulfamethoxazole starts with aniline. This reacted with acetic anhydride. This is a very familiar reaction, the amino group attack on the carbonyl acyl group of acetic anhydride and thus brings about the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction to give us the formation of this compound. Which is called as acetanilide 
So this step is carried out just to protect the amino group to get reacted with the further reagents and also to limit the electrophilic substitution reaction at the para position. So acetanilide then reacted with chlorosulfonic acid. In chlorosulfonic acid, the sulfur is attached with a very strong electronegative oxygen and this chlorine due to which it will be electron deficient. So for the sake of electron, this group will attack on the para position of this benzene ring to bring about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. At that time, this hydrogen on the para position and this hydroxyl group will be liberated out as water molecule and here we get the formation of corresponding sulfonyl chloride derivative which is called as paraacetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride now this sulfonyl chloride derivative then reacted with the isoxazole derivative which is called as 5-methyl isoxazole 3 amine this is a 5 member heterocyclic ring here the numbering is 1 2 3 4 and 5 on 5 position we have a methyl group on 3 position we have the amino group so it is called as 5 methyl isoxazole 3 amine this amino group then attack on this sulfonyl group to bring about the substitution reaction whereby one of this hydrogen and this Cl will be liberated out as HCl and here we get the formation of this derivative Now this is very important step, this derivative then treated with dilute hydrochloric acid. The dilute hydrochloric acid simply means the mixture of HCl with water molecule. The water molecule whatever present over here will bring about the hydrolysis of this amide and there will be release of the acetic acid molecule and there will be liberation of the free amino group to give us our titled compound which is called as sulfa methoxazole So dear student that is all about synthesis and the mechanism of action of sulfamethoxazole. Thanks for watching the video. Please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.